They're in hundreds of cities across the nation and two new red light cameras now up in Colorado Springs. Two more set to go up soon. City leaders say it's to crack down on unsafe driving after a record number of traffic deaths last year. And a lot of you have strong opinions about this topic. That's why we're taking a closer look in tonight's 360 perspective. A bill to ban red light cameras died in the state legislature last month. We've seen bills come up in four consecutive sessions. Some passed, but none were ever signed into law. Colorado Springs canceled red light cameras back in 2011 before bringing this program back. Littleton dropped theirs in 2015. According to the Governor's Highway Safety Association, as of December, 21 states plus Washington, D.C. allow red light cameras. Colorado is one of them. Some of the states have tough restrictions. Now, 10 states have laws banning them with some specific exceptions. And 19 states have no red light camera state laws, but some do have cities that use them. Popular arguments against red light cameras include they are unconstitutional because they violate privacy. They are money making schemes by greedy governments and there are questions of whether they actually increase safety. Several lawsuits have challenged whether the cameras violate privacy, but some courts have determined anyone in a public space like on the streets can be recorded. Concerning fines, you have the right to challenge it in court, but a Denver Post report found last year less than half a percent of more than 150,000 citations issued in our state capital were dismissed. However, governments have been accused of rigging red light cameras to collect more fines, making light time shorter in order to catch more red light runners. There may be some truth to this. In 2017, while looking into those exact claims in Pueblo, News 5 investigates Eric Ross found out cities like Chicago, Dallas, Nashville, and more were caught issuing tickets at intersections with short yellow lights. Pueblo's light times mostly checked out. We did find one light that was just barely under the recommended time. The city told us they stand by their program and believe it works. And finally, public safety federal highway administration studies have shown an overall decrease in T-bone crashes, total deaths and serious injuries at intersections with the cameras, but rear end crashes at some of those intersections have gone up. Proponents say the trade off is those crashes are usually less serious and saving lives means saving money. The CDC says deadly crashes cost Colorado nearly $700 million in 2013. Looking ahead, when the Springs cameras are ready to roll, there will be a huge announcement and a 30 day warning period before those tickets start getting handed out. Of course, we'll keep you posted on that. Have something you want us to cover in our 360 perspective? Email us 360 at KOAA.com.